Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Red Flood is Russia, let's continue on from last month off. So, we are going to revise our internal policy. I was looking at these things between episodes also. If we finally have research trucks, which is important for us. Um, it's almost 1937. So I think we're going to get some better factories for right now. Any new decisions? Anything? Maybe restore the monarchy. I don't know if this does anything. Let's just click it. We'll see. We'll, fi we'll find out what happens eventually. So, I did notice that most of these don't actually have effects. So I'm not too sure what any of these will do. If they will act, or if they'll actually just do nothing in early flavor events, and they're not actually ready for this version of the mod. Apparently not. So my timey, there we go. So, with our trucks now. Uh, discovered let us actually start building up a handful of them because we need what like 600 trucks i believe something like that in order to actually get to where we need to be so let's cut down on planes and yeah there we go there we go so that, that should be fine start building up some trucks it'll take us a while to get to the 600 that we uh currently require but i don't think it's going to be that bad We still got low manpower. It's going to take us to um, 150 political power. We're right now we're not getting a lot. 0.64 is really not the best we could be doing. So we're not going to go become liberals because that's you know that's boring and who cares about that. Let's find out what the black bloc wants and see if it actually does anything. It might not. Usually exclusive liberalization will lead to Russia's prosperity. So. There's a chance, I think, that nothing will happen with these things. Like, we've done it, but nothing has actually changed. Collapse of the coalition. Remove all national restrictions. Give land to small owners. Well, let's see what you do. Again, I don't think anything's actually going to happen with any of these events. Which is a little bit disappointing, um, though he chose a country that all the events really don't do anything. Uganda has been annexed by the United Kingdom. Not a huge surprise by that. I'm, you know, they were definitely not going to end up winning that. It looks like the Spanish Republic is doing pretty okay against the um, it's the Spanish state. The Morocco does look like they are going to be in a situation where they are just going to absolutely lose. They actually no division, so that makes it significantly harder for them to actually wage war. So what can we do? Because apparently if this does nothing at all, which I believe is the case. So I would, uh, yeah, I don't know if this will do anything. So you might just have to focus on um, our, our uh, military reforms. Yeah, I really don't think these are going to do a single thing for us, which is disappointing. <laughs> Russian national capitalism, restrictions for foreign capital, introduce martial law, but yeah, again, these won't do anything. At least as far as I know. It may there still be events or something popping up, but maybe I chose the wrong side in the, uh, the Civil War. I chose a side that actually is going to have no events whatsoever, so might as well go for the Russian army. Because again, unfortunately, I don't think anything's going to happen. Maybe when, in 52 days, when these are all ready, something will happen. I'm not 100% too sure. Maybe we have to do those first, and then these will actually have some uh, actual effects. But until that moment, kind of leaning towards nothing's going to happen, unfortunately. And because stability goes down, weekly manpower goes down by 1,000... I don't really think I need to start killing people. I mean, stability's at 85%. I think that seems pretty good. Uh, war support stability goes down by 10%. But we do... I mean, yeah, nothing really happens. There's only 5% more support. Not the greatest. So again, it's 1937. You're 1939 weapons. We're not really building any factories because we are just in bad straits. Get mass assault, obviously. If we're going to be rushed, we should have a... Massive, massive, massive army. So we could get some foreign ministers, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, like all of them were basically just kind of bad. And I didn't really think any of them were really worth anything. 
Like, we have force filling factories right now being used for construction, which is kind of terrible. Like, what we could do is we can just fight a war goal against, you know, Poland. And push our way into this way. Because, again, we're not going to get any effects that are like, hey, you should attack Poland or you should attack somebody else. Unless it's in these. Yeah, mass install would be nice. Unless it's within you guys, but I don't think it's that's the case. Petrograd Navy, um, the air flu you know, we don't care about any of that stuff. Yeah, so let's get two times 100% research bonus infantry equipment. Will be definitely useful. Uh, we can get some better rifles. Japan's declared war on you. I don't know why you. I mean, you're a little bit far from any... I mean, I guess you are a puppet state of Japan. I guess it kind of makes sense, but it's a very, very weird second choice, I would say, for who you'd want to attack in that general area. So, to, I like how this one uh, is just the Revolting Peasants. It's a great, great name. We can modify our government. No, we gotta wait till we have enough uh, political power. We can actually get some more troops on the field. Because as Russia, not being able just to swarm your uh, opponents is an issue. So why are you taking such massive attrition? Total attrition, 30%. Do you not have supplies in this area? No, you do. Why are you not getting... any organization? You're actually losing weapons. You're losing guns faster than they can actually be replaced. Which is a little bit strange, I will admit. I mean, none of the guys up here in the north seem to be having that problem, so I'm not too sure what their issue is. We don't know what the French are doing right now. I don't know if anybody else is really gearing up towards World War II. I don't know when that is supposed to be happening within the, uh, the context of the mod. I mean, they're like Finland up here, but I don't think Finland's going to be... Much of a threat for us. Guess we've, uh, gets better infantry equipment. Let's go for... I guess it doesn't really matter which one we go for. We're definitely going to go for uh, Mass Assault Doctrine. I think that's definitely going to be the best one for us. So let's get two times 100% uh, for support artillery. Seems fine to me. We can ban fascism, ban everybody, more or less. So who's that actually banned? Because these don't actually exist, right? Like, they're, I don't think there are any of these things are actually mapped to these factions. At least not that I'm aware of, so I'm definitely not going to click any of them. Also, all those things did finish out. But it didn't really seem like it did anything, as far as I can tell. So, Austria declared war on Czechoslovakia. I don't know why, but, you know, you sh sure. Go ahead. I'm guessing it's, you know, just... Purely, um... Let's go for heavy tanks. I'm guessing it's just purely event-driven. So maybe at some point you will have an event being like, Hey, you should attack your way into Poland or attack your way somewhere. I just don't know when those events would actually be taking place or when they would be firing. I mean, again, we're only in 1937. So we're still pretty early into the mod. The, uh... Who are you? This is the flag glitch, okay. I don't know what actually causes the flag glitch. Does anybody in the comments or who's watching this video actually know what causes the issue with the flags? I'm not 100% too sure. By the way, can I join factions? You can. It would generate too much real attention for the faction. Your strategic reasons to be hostile towards me. So... You know, allying ourselves with France, I don't think it's a bad idea. Assuming, of course, you don't like me because you have strategic reasons to be hostile towards me. Who? What about the British Commonwealth? No, you're all about the world tension. Japan, what about you? Japan's not in a faction. Okay, that would definitely hinder our ability to join it. Yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised that Poland even has its own faction. It really doesn't seem... It seems odd. But I'm guessing they kind of broke away after the collapse of Russia. So it makes sense in that context that maybe they would band together. 
and try to stop Russian aggression. So I'm going to definitely go for a 100% research bonus there and then go for the 100% into the 1939 rifle. ASAP. I think that's definitely our best options there. And soon, and by soon I mean today, we can actually go up to... We'll go to partial mobilization. But I think we actually want the manpower first. So let's get our way up to limited. We can actually start training up some divisions. Uh, you're basically just the bad ones. So I'm going to put um, a picture of this very angry bird. So you are basically our eh, troops. They're not great. They're not terrible. Um... Build up a handful of motorized divisions. Train up a handful of cavalry divisions. Um, you are light tanks at the moment, so I don't want to build you up quite yet. I want to start building a heavy tank researches uh, when we get the opportunity to. And soon, hopefully, we can actually start uh, deploying more men. That is our final uh, objective here. So we need about 11,000 rifles. It's going to take us 184 days to refill you. It's going to take us 183 days to refill that. So nothing too bad. 57 days and you are 41. So only like a few months, half a year at most. Do we actually have all of our supplies that we are needing? Austria is definitely going to kill Czechoslovakia. There is no doubt about that. And also the Spanish state's actually starting to push their way through. So maybe Poland's actually supporting you. Nobody's supporting the Spanish Republic, so definitely the Spanish state is going to win. Maybe they'll join up with the French faction, and I'm assuming at some point Germany and France are going to go to war. I don't know who is going to strike first. Yeah, like, all of France's things actually have options. So, in hindsight, I probably should have chosen a, you know, alliance myself, or not alliance myself, to play as the French, or Germany, or somebody who actually has a focus tree. Or has a focus tree that actually does something. Let me just be a little bit more clear on that. Because, yeah, most of these guys don't have a tree. I'm hoping when the mod actually comes out on Thursday, uh, the 26th, more of these countries actually have working focus trees, because it's a little bit of a shame that we're going to be in a situation where we really can't do all of this interesting stuff. Like, preparations for, for war would be nice. Um, Militarize the nation? I'm sure these would give us a bunch of really cool benefits that I am not going to ever be able to use because they more or less do not exist. So again, ignore all this stuff. We're going to go straight into reorganize the st uh, Stavka. 15 army experience, 25. Which gains maximum command power increase plus 25. Does that mean everybody would be able to control 49 divisions? Pretty sure I'm completely wrong about that, but you know, part of me is really hoping that's actually the case. Oh no, Austria actually does have its own focus tree. Okay. I mean, they got the basic one over here, but they do have their own little tree over here as well. So they have decided to strengthen the ultranationalist. Unite the people, pan-German supremacy. So we'll see if they actually try... I mean, they can see French protection, but it actually doesn't do anything quite yet. So an alliance with... I mean, they can actually join... No, they can't actually do this. They can only go... German supremacy. Yeah, no, they can't do that. They can get a pact with Prussia. And that, that's actually an event that actually will work. So, like, Austria could actually start to conquest a, a handful of territory for themselves if they so chose so. So, this is apparently one of the very long ones. 70 full days. Are you all 70 days from now on? Yes, you are. That's a little bit disappointing. But what can he do about it? Really not much. Really, we're just trying to uh, militarize up enough that we can hopefully conquer the world. Or not conquer the world, but at least, you know, control a decent chunk of Europe. Especially take over Poland's faction, at least. Lithuania, Belarus, Ukraine, Poland. That's my goal because, again, this series has to end on Thursday, I believe. Whenever the mod actually officially comes out. Because, well, for obvious reasons, it'll update and the whole save will break. So... And also, we had the full version of the mod, which I'm pretty sure will probably run a little bit better uh, anyways. We've got Heavy Tanks level 1, which is fantastic. We go for Heavy Tanks level 2, but that's a 1941 tech a little bit ahead of time. We're going to get some more research bonuses here. So, 
let's go for computing machines. We're still a little bit ahead of time on that, but of course, getting faster research is always a good, good thing. Like, Austria's trying to fight Switzerland. And I don't think they're going to be able to actually do anything. My reasoning for that... Apparently they do have a, a pact with uh, Prussia, so maybe they will join a faction together. Uh, we're definitely going to go adapt new strategies. We're going to go definitely go for the mass assault, because I would like to just flood all of Europe with Russian troops. Seems like a very fun time. But Austria, I, I doubt they'll be able to push their way into the Alps. Like, this is one of the hardest territories ever taken in the entire game, is trying to take over Switzerland. So I think Austria is just going to waste all their manpower doing that. Oh no, they actually pushed one tile through. But I think they're going to waste most of their manpower doing that, and then when they eventually get an alliance up with Prussia, to try to, I'm guessing, to take down Germany, maybe France will also join that war as well. But once they actually do that, Germany will fall. We'll see what happens with Prussia. Poland right now has... I mean... They have, like, that's a pretty big range of how many men they have. So there's a chance that we actually have more troops than the, um, than the Polish. Which would allow a conquest of their territories to be pretty, pretty easy. And also, most of these guys are actually already almost trained up. We're really just missing, uh, the towed artillery. So we're gonna get a bonus of this soon, so we don't want to be upgrading you any more than we have to. Get the improved artillery, because we got 100% bonus to that research. And these guys are hanging out on, like, we're part of the same, not the same faction, obviously, but we're part of the same alliance. You're all my puppet states. You shouldn't really be guarding against each other. That's all I would have to say on that. These guys are finally starting to organize. Bad supply. I don't know this tear. This one might actually just be broken. You can see how it's applying to all these different uh, areas over here, but this actually is not working. Did that... Did that fix it? No, this one area actually just does not work. Which is incredibly strange. Is the same thing happening over here as well? Yes, no, some of these uh, provinces... Just actually don't... Kind of like they don't even exist. Which is very odd. They're like, this region and this region, they more or less like don't even exist within the game. Like, the supply system. Huh. Very, very strange indeed. So it's guaranteed citizenships. We can get some more support for our party, but I don't think that really matters too much. Um... More support going up. Not a bad idea, but... I mean, stability is down by 5% for 180 days. But then it'll just shoot back up. We're already at 85%. War support is definitely lowering our mobilization speed, so... I mean, probably am going to actually do Absolution for service. Because I would like to actually start mobilizing my troops a little bit faster. So I can have more and more men in the field. Keep on deploying over here. I guess this actually is not considered my territory, which is understandable. Yeah, most of our troops were just, um... I mean, they're, they're the somewhat decent ones. They're not our new 40 with troops, but they are not the worst. So you know, like, actually did win the war against Japan. I think they might have lost some territory, but nothing too crazy. So you declare war on Maklik. Maklik probably is not going to survive for too, too much longer. Like, we start just fighting war goals. It's going to take 180 days, though, for that to even finish. Which is a while. So we're going to go for uh, this guy's plan, because he's going to give us the bonuses to Mass Assault, which is the focus that we're already uh, going down. Imperial authorities declared war on Alte. Who is Imperial authority? It's you. Led by um, Roman von Urstrusberg, the guy who basically tries to become uh, Genghis Khan in Kaiserreich. I think he can actually. I was gonna say maybe he can like join a society or join our alliance. But it looks like he's actually going for 
some sort of Japanese alliance there. At the latest, 4 to 6 divisions, you have 4 to 8, so it's kind of 50 50 on who actually is going to end up winning that war. And we actually have some more divisions training. Excellent. So we got 8 new 40 stacks. Um, well, I guess we're going to need to build up a brand new army then. We can put them on the border with the. Um, With Switzerland or with uh, Finland, but I don't think that's really necessary. So let's cut you down in half. We'll have green on this front. And they will try to push their way for a quick attack into Minsk like that. Yeah, and you just all deploy very quickly. Thank you very much. Now let's keep on deploying troops here. We're going to wait until we get 20 political power, hire a new general, and hopefully that should all resolve itself all nice and uh, orderly. But I think this is going to be a good time to end this episode. Thank you for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. If not, you can always thumb down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.